Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove an item from an array. So I'll go into my VS Code and create a basic array of numbers. So I'll create numbers from 1 to 7. I don't know exactly what you're trying to do by removing items from an array, but I'm going to show you different ways of doing that, and hopefully one of them will match something you're looking for. So here I output the seven numbers in the array, and the first way of removing items is simply setting the length property to a different length and it will cut off the rest of the numbers so we have one to three here if you want to only remove the last items from an array you should probably use the pop method so here's how it basically works every time you call the pop method it removes the last item from the array and as you can see it would just remove the seven this function actually returns the item that was removed, so you can assign it to, to a value. So here I'm going to run pop two times more, and you see that we removed 5, 6, and 7. Now the next one is shift method. Shift is like a backwards pop. It removes the items from the beginning of the array. So if I shift this array 1, it's going to remove the first number or an object or whatever you have at that index. So I'm going to call it a couple of more times and you will see that we just removed one to three. You can also use the splice method which can help you remove items from anywhere. It allows you to choose the index from which you want to start removing items. So here for example if I want to remove the first three items I'm going to start with index zero and remove the next three items. But you can use, instead of zero, you can start from any place you want. So this removes the first four and so on. You can also, again, use it to remove items from the middle of the array. You can start anywhere. You can also use the higher order function called filter and you can supply a condition to it like value equals greater than 5 or any equation really. So here's how it works. You put in the arrow function and grab the value and now you specify the condition you want to be met. So value less or equals than 5. And then you reassign it back to numbers just to see what we have here in console. Um, we got this is wrong. Uh, I made a small mistake. We have to return the value so I'm going to add that, otherwise not, nothing's going to happen if you don't provide the return keyword. So here we go. Uh, we only have 1 through 5 because the value matched that condition, uh, less or equals 5. But again, you can use any condition in there that you want. Also, you can use the delete keyword. The delete keyword will delete that item, but it will actually not remove it from the array and it will show up as empty. So <laughs> Let's use the delete on the numbers and let's say item 3. So I'll refresh the console and you will see that it inserted empty. It didn't actually remove that item, but when you look it up here, it doesn't exist. So uh, keep that in mind that the index is still uh, there. It's just the item was removed. So probably not the, the most secure or best way of doing this, but um, try out all of these different ways and see what works for you in your given situation.